Morning, friends. It's coffee time. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about a day I spent out in the Las Cienegas National Conservation Area, and I spent the day in a Jeep ride with my friends Donnie and Rachel and Lou Ann, and we visited the Empire Ranch house. Empire Ranch. We took a tour of the 28-room abandoned house out there, and it's been set up as a museum, so it's full of furniture and dishes in the cupboard and books in the bookcase and whatever. And uh, I found it very enjoyable. Uh, we spent a long day out there, a very nice, uh, sunny, warm day. And we not only toured the ranch house, which was extensive, and took a long walk in the uh, cottonwood trails in the back of the house, and then we drove around to the different camping areas that are in the uh, BLM Las Cienegas, Las Cienegas Conservation Area. Um, I think I'm going to split this video into three parts. The first two parts will be the ranch house, which uh, is extensive, and then um, the last part will be going out into the desert towards the Chiricahua Mountains and seeing the places that uh, people can camp for free. That's what I'm going to do. I usually post on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. I think I'm going to post this um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three days in a row. So if you're not subscribed or haven't hit the bell uh, and you want to see these, do. I'll try to put up cards, but sometimes I forget. Anyway, enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Welcome to the Cienegas National Conservation Area. You can camp out here. Large groups up to 30 people. Recreation zones. Yeah. And where are we going to go, Donnie? We're going to go... Uh, Empire Ranch is here. And okay. the camp area, Sinegita Camp Area, uh -huh. the main camp area, it's going to be a paid camp one day, but it's not at the moment. But there's also a lot of dispersed camping all along here and oh. out here. There's single spots if you want to get away from people. But big race can get to this one. And no fee right now. Okay. Let's go check it out. Side of that range yeah. there. Wow. And right up there, that's Madeira Canyon. But this is a beautiful place. A lot of people stay here a long time, too. This is the perfect season for it right now. There's nice jeeping trails, too. Not hardcore, not technical. Yeah, all these trails you'll love, because you'll be able to drive everywhere back here, Jerry. On the way to the Empire Ranch house, we see a pronghorned antelope munching the dry grass. Those, the only thing is those cottonwoods back there behind the house have been dying for years, but they are enormous when you walk the little trail back there. The, all the wood that's on the ground is huge. So, so this is a... Uh, a working ranch? It's a no. tourist trap? What is it's, it? It's just a restored old ranch and everyone's and free to walk, walk in and look it. at really, it. It's never busy. I, I think this is as most people I've seen here. There's a, a, <laughs> a preservation society helps take care of it in, in yeah, conjunction with the nature conserve. So it belongs to the government? Or? I think it does now, yeah. Huh. Well, it's quite nice. It is nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Inside. The house is really cool. You got they got all kinds of historical stuff in every room. And yeah, and the if you come here like in the evening, a lot of times there'll be any people here. Yeah, I'm just gonna run to the restroom. We can either look or go, whichever. I just I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick because I do know this one's clean. Well, it's always clean. There's this is the most people I think I've ever seen here, babe. Uh, it's getting more and more popular over the years. <laughs> well, they used to have restrooms or signs or paved road or anything, so being promoted. 
The Empire Ranch House originated as a simple flat-roof, four-room house constructed of hand-cast adobe blocks, built by William Wakefield and started in 1871. Through the ownership of many different owners, it's become a 28-room house. The BLM acquired ownership of the ranch house in 1988 as part of what is now the Los Cienegas National Conservation Area, totaling over 45,000 acres. Walk through. Oh, you can go, feel free to come yeah. in and explore. Please close the door when you leave. <laughs> Is that like, uh, oh, there's a generator and a pump. Hmm. Wow. I think they just opened this room. Baby, we, we haven't been in this room. Look at cigar boxes, sacks of potatoes. So this would be a pantry. <laughs> well, look, there's girls in this room. <laughs> look at the clothes, how cute. Round up a lot of range banding. It was pretty difficult. Oh, branding. Yeah. Fireplace. Without the cowboys, the ranch wouldn't be here. Good slogan. Look at this roof. Uh, so this, they said, it used to be an earthen roof, and they replaced it with these wooden beams in 1878, but... My favorite living room is on the oh other side. Oh my god, look at here. In suite bathroom. Yes. <laughs> a little updated with the uh, shower curtain there. <laughs> so look at this. Oh, I had those in a house in Portland. They're steam radiators. I love that. Actually, those aren't steam, they're hot water. No, that one's steam. It's got a steam valve on it in case the. Pressure gets too high. How does that work? So is it steam running through it, not water? Yeah, there will be a boiler and a, yeah. and a big furnace somewhere that runs it to all of those. Wow. Oh, check out, Jerry. This was the meat cooler. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they, they hung their beef and their pigs in there. The hanging hanging rail. Wait until you see their cooler inside one of the kitchens. And there's owl. Who are you? That scares you at night. I've been here at night. Yeah? That's freaky. <laughs> Look, check this, check this refrigerator out. You know, oh my gosh. Oh, the old oh, got There's all kinds of old here. Hey, freezer. They got it locked so you can't get locked in. Huh? Oh, they took this piece out of here. Yeah, and they got a lock on the... Yeah. How about this butcher's lock? Yeah, that's for <laughs> real. I love the old door handles. I had this when I was a kid in my house. Was just like this. Yep. Same handle, same key. I love the big spot and key. I've had lots of those in the buildings I owned, yeah. Who's your Ooh, look at this. The kitchen. <laughs> this is one. Kitchen. I think there are like three kitchens. Well, this one is the Cowboys area. This here is a sideboard. They call it a sideboard. Oh. Hoosier cabinet. Hoosier cabinet? Yep. Depending on what type it was. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's for your flour? Yeah. Yeah. It's for your flour and it comes out down here. Uh, okay. Yep. And then it's, it's for, some people call them pie cabinet. You can have that pie skillet. Head. <laughs> wow, look yeah. at this old Wagnerware, Sydney. Yeah. I've got this one. This is a very old skillet. Look at the coking on it. I got one of those in my motorhome. I got it from my mother. Yeah, I, I, I cooked in it yesterday. Wow. Oh, look at 
And you can see all the coking from being over the fire. Beautiful. Oh, look at the spices, tin spices. Turmeric. <laughs> poultry seasoning, sage, allspice, cinnamon, mace. Mace? I don't know. I don't know. Turmeric, mace. I, you know, I think I heard oh, of that. Beautiful dishes. I mean, it's so neat that it's all like this and not vandalized and stuff. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. That you know, I mean, it's it's not nailed down and it's still here. How many I'm, museums can you Hey, go wait, on? wait, wait, wait. No, no bulb in the. Oh yeah, yeah. So over here, what do we got? It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's like that chocolate um, chocolate. Yeah. The other day, a big empty nice room that you would love to be on by yourself. Oh. So this is the foreman's quarters. Oh, big news. Foreman's quarters, okay. Yeah, we Nothing in there. Okay, this is uh, Empire Ranch Tours with Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite kitchen. Watch out for snakes okay. inside the house. Okay, watch out for snakes. It's too cold right now. Oh, well, it's a real kitchen. It is a real kitchen. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. You know what? These are metal, right? You're not going to believe this. What's up? This is exactly the same kind of cupboards I have at my house in Mexico. Oh, really? They have a lot of metal cupboards down there because of termites. So just oh, my mom had these. This is yeah, what we kept our flowers, a flower and stuff in on the counter. Be it was a bunch of these. Beans, <laughs> rice, yeah. egg noodles, more Look spices. My grandma's old refrigerator. Look at this fridge, how old. Frigidaire. Yeah. They usually have this turned out to how to skin an animal. <laughs> but somebody turned the page, so... <laughs> oh, I was watching something on uh, Netflix last night, and it said something about... I think it was a Sasquatch, and he was barbecuing over the fire with an animal on the stick. Uh -huh. And he said something like, hurry up with this, uh, the skunk's almost done. That's so gross. <laughs> a real bread box. A bread box? I have a bread box. Keep the bread in there. And then this would be the dining room. Oh, no. I guess the one with the table would be the dining room. Oh, piano. Can I play the piano? Of course. Okay. We're going to play the piano. Here, you can be the, you can be the filmer. Hey, come back tomorrow for the rest of the house and the walk through the giant cottonwoods along the creek, a trail in back of the house. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.